Before dating Amber Heard, Johnny Depp was in a previous relationship with the French actress and singer Vanessa Paradis, from whom they officially separated in June 2012. Following a civil ceremony, Depp and Amber got married on February 3, 2015. Unfortunately, their marriage didn't last long, and by May 23, 2016, Amber had filed for divorce, which granted her a temporary restraining order against Depp. In her divorce statement, she claimed that Depp had been verbally and physically abusing her throughout their relationship, especially when he was under the influence of drugs or alcohol. However, Depp did not admit to these allegations and claimed that Amber was only seeking an early financial settlement. The divorce statement was agreed upon in the late summer month of 2016, and the divorce was finalized at the beginning of 2017. Depp was required to pay Amber $7 million as a divorce settlement, whereby Amber pledged that this amount was to be donated to the ACLU and the Children's Hospital Los Angeles, CHLA. Afterward, Amber dismissed the temporary restraining order, and they both issued a joint statement. In the statement, they acknowledged that their relationship had been intensely passionate and sometimes volatile, but always guided by love. They emphasized that neither party had made false accusations for financial gain, and there was never an intent to cause physical or emotional harm. Interestingly, things escalated in 2019, when Depp took the bold step of suing Amber for defaming his name, an act that led to him losing his gig with Disney's future projects. This was after Amber drafted an op-ed for the Washington Post in December 2018, which Depp claimed to contain three defamatory statements, the first statement read like this, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. While the second and the third statements read like this respectively. Then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Following this, Depp claimed that all these statements were fabricated and that he was the one who was actually getting abused by Amber. Things got hotter following this because Amber went ahead to countersue Depp in 2020. She claimed that Depp had attempted to run a social media harassment campaign with the aim of maligning her name and trying to get her fired from L'Oreal and Aquaman. In addition, Depp's lawyer, Adam Waldman, was accused of defaming Amber through three statements that were published in the Daily Mail in 2020. These statements claimed that the evidence provided by Amber against Depp's abusive case was just a hoax. The first statement made by Waldman read like this. Amber and her friends in the media used fake sexual violence allegations as both sword and shield, publicizing a sexual violence hoax against Depp. The second statement read like this. At a penthouse, Amber and her friends spilled a little wine and roughed the place up, got their stories straight under the direction of a lawyer and publicist, and then placed a second call to 911 as a hoax against Depp. Lastly, the third statement by Waldman stated that there had been an abuse hoax by Amber against Depp. Unfortunately, Adam Waldman was later dismissed from the case by the judge in October 2020 after leaking confidential information that was covered by a protective order to the media. Later in August 2021, the organization that Amber had claimed to donate some of the divorce settlement, ACLU, was ordered by the court judge to provide documents regarding this transaction. Finally, the long-awaited trial between Depp and Amber took place on April 11, 2022, in Fairfax County, Virginia. Amber accused Depp of domestic violence, paranoia, and violence, more so under the influence of drugs and liquor. On the other hand, Depp accused Amber of verbal and physical abuse. The jury returned a verdict after 13 hours of deliberation on June 1, 2022. The jury found out that the three statements made by Amber in her op-ed were not true and that they were made out of pure malice and their main intention was to defame Depp's reputation. As a result, Depp was awarded $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages even though the punitive damage compensation was cut off down to $350,000 to align with the Virginia state law. Conversely, the jury found out that the first and the third statements made by Depp's lawyer against Amber were free from defamation. However, the second statement by Waldman was seen as false, 
made out of pure malice and thus defamatory. As a result, Amber was awarded $2 million in compensatory damages and zero in punitive damages. Following an appeal of the verdict, Depp and Amber's case came to a conclusion in December 2022. Amber still held on to the fact that the case settlement was not an act of concession. Conversely, Depp's lawyers acknowledged that the jury's unanimous decision and the resulting judgment in Depp's favor against Amber remained fully in place, and that the settlement was facilitating Depp to be paid $1 million, which was to go to donations. Depp was overwhelmed with joy following the conclusion of this case in his favor. He finally felt the restoration of a life that had already left him. Let us know what are your thoughts regarding this saga in the comments section. And thank you so much for watching and being part of this community. You are highly valued.